Hey guys, it's me Yolanda. Ooh, my face looks normal. Awesome. I'm recording from directly from YouTube instead of on camera then uploading on YouTube. Um, uh, who recommended me to do this? Mm, I need to start writing stuff down because my memory Oh, it's like I'm 200 years old. A lot of you have been asking how is my uh, cousin's kids Afghan is coming around and I'll show you. It's all done. Uh, the joint, the joining part is ice yarns, eyelash. This is uh, of course the magic glitz. This is also eyelash for my yarns. The white yarn is the Walmart brand. I think it's called Main. So this is okay. The pink is this pink is coming out orange on camera. It is obnoxiously neon pink in person. It's so cute. I think she will love it. Okay, I'm gonna throw this up there to the okay, let me come back to you. Okay. So I've been bugging Cheryl with the recipe of her coffee that she makes. I'm going through my own health journey journey uh just weight loss thing because since last summer i have gained 85 my maybe 90 pounds i went through a major depression a major loss that i had oh hold on just damn okay there we go oh it's hot in here. Why is it so hot in here? Oh, I just had a heat on. Why did I have a heat on? Anyways. So, I was going through a major, major loss. And depression. We all turn to something when we break down. Some of us turn to alcohol, some of us turn to porn, some of us turn to other life, bad choices, drugs, alcohol. I turn to food. And even though I knew it was not going to be good for me, I did. And I gained probably a good 80 pounds in the first six months after this loss that I had. The depression hit me hard. So now, I refuse to buy any clothes, anything in my size now. I, I, just, I am not accepting to stay where I'm at. I want to be back healthy. I want to go back at least that's some way that I used to look. I know looks are not everything, but we live in a cruel world, even though I believe that now world is so much nicer than before. But where looks matter, you know, um, I'm single and, and I, when I, find a man I want to have an active healthy lifestyle I love outdoors so I want to go back to the hiking and rock climbing I used to do all that stuff and I miss that so one day if I am lucky enough to find that one person and have a family I want my family to be healthy so I'm working on it and she always drinks her special protein coffee instead of food. And why is it so hot in here? Okay, 
uh, trust me, Illinois is not hot. I think I'm getting nervous every time, like when I, if I talk about certain topics, like I get stressed out and anxious, and I start getting like crazy hot because outside is not hot. So, anyways, so I've been bugging Cheryl to tell me her recipe. Like I would constantly, I didn't want to be that annoying person and be too into somebody's life. Like I don't know her in person. Like I love her dearly. I. I need my Cheryl Doe's every night when I'm at work. I need to slow down on watching her videos because I'm running out of it. But I don't know her in person. So I don't want to, uh, what do you call it, be nosy and try to get into her business. So I kind of here and there been like asking, oh, what's, how do you put your coffee together and stuff. And she was so kind enough. She made a video of how she makes that coffee. And Cheryl, if you're watching this, thank you so, so much for actually making a video of how you're making that iced coffee. And thank you for recommending me that syrup. I usually hate syrups because I find syrups gross, especially in coffees. They make it thick. You said you understand what I'm talking about. Most people think I'm crazy. For me, if I put syrup in a coffee, it makes it kind of gooish. Anyways, this syrup is amazing and it doesn't have a plastic taste. I probably sound like out of whack to all of you, but syrups taste like plastic to me. It has that weird aftertaste. This one does not, so I love it. Oh, so I showed you that. Oh, so this coffee will be perfect for me for nighttime when I'm at work. When I'm at work, I eat really bad foods and I crave for sugar like crazy. And the only time when I have this obscene craziness of sh wanting for sugar, this crazy craving for sugar is when I'm at work. I think it's because mostly I'm bored. So the syrup is, this makes really sweet coffee. I'm not even used to drinking that sweet of a coffee. But that syrup is sugar-free, everything, so yummy, yummy. Okay. So this coffee with the protein and stuff, it will be my dinner and my coffee. So I <laughs> Okay, my other whip that I'm working on right now, I found a pattern of this bunny that brought all kinds of childhood memories. It was this German cartoon. At least it was on, on a German kids channel. And it was this bunny and I haven't seen that bunny since I was like 10 years old. I want to make it in that fluffy polar soft uh, yarn. But since I can't see the stitches, I wanted to do a prototype. So since the pattern is very complicated, I decided that my prototype will be with Red Heart uh, Super Saver, or is it Ombre? I think Ombre maybe. Not Ombre. I think it's Super Saver. So, but what I did, I put it two strands of yarn together. The size of that bunny is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. If I ever sell this bunny, if everyone, anyone ever wants it, the only way I will sell it, it's like, it has to be at least $200. It has to be $200 because the amount of yarn that I'm using for one head, I used up two pounds of the purple ombre yarn from, uh, what is it? Oh, Red Heart. And that's just the head. I am 6'1". I go between 6'1 and 6'2". It depends on the nurse. So I just tell people I'm 6'1 and a half. The, the ear. This is the ear. So tall people have long arms. If you know people who are my height, you know how long their arms are. So th this bunny ear goes to my fingertips to my shoulder 
Mm -hmm. And the legs are even longer. And I'll show you the head. Oh, he is adorable. Look at this bunny. Oh, I love this bunny. And I, I'm telling you, when I make toys, as soon as I make the head, I will look at them. And the name, they just tell me their name. I mean, I'm pretty sure Cheryl, I think, said that toys talk to her. No, I don't think she said that, but she mentioned something like that. Toys talk to me like, I looked at him and I said, Max, I like naming my toys. Every toy that I have made, which is what, four? Well, I, I don't count one as a toy. But so three toys that I actually put effort to and look amazing. They gave me their names. I have an owl, owl whose name is Charles. That owl, oh, it's over there. When I made him, I looked at his face and he kind of reminded me of a British male librarian. And for some reason, when I think about British librarians, a name Charles pops up. It just has that smart, intelligent name. Like, I don't know how to explain it. And my teddy bear is Jack. It was just Jack right away. This guy looked at his face and he's Max. Just to think Max has to do with ginormous size. My head, his head. I'm a big woman, six, one and a half. Can you imagine how big his body is going to be? I'm going to die making this. But he's so adorable. Another whip that I'm making is Ice Yarns. This is baby cotton. Super soft. Super, super soft. I so recommend baby cotton from Ice Yarns. Um, I'm making these squares. I'm making four squares. I'm going to join them together and make a lovey out of it. So... Another, okay, I had a few yarns come in. I saw a sale on Hobie, not Hobie, it's H-O-B-B-I-I, -I, I think. So, Hobie, Hobby, Hobie, Hobie. Um... It's called Cotton Kings, and they had a, this big sale. I think it's in, from Denmark. They had this. I heard so many people say how amazing this cotton is and everything. And I ordered two of them that were twenty-two dollars on sale. It cost twenty-nine the regular price. I bought it just because it looked amazing and I figured it's gonna just sit on my shelf and look pretty until I will say enough is enough and maybe it's gonna be for some giveaway, maybe a 500 subscriber giveaway, which I don't think I will ever reach, but you never know. If it does, probably that's where it's gonna go. Unless I decide to make a bags out of it. I love green, so, you know, I get everything that has to do with the green. I'm not that impressed. Okay, I'm going to read about it. Uh, Cotton Kings, 100% cotton, twirls deluxe, 250 grams, approximately 1,000 meters. It's so thin. Oh my gosh, I will die making anything out of this. I love me a thick yarn. So, and another one that I bought... Oh, there we go. Hobie. Ho Hobie, Hobie. There you go. That's the brand. Can you see it? What does it say? Yeah, Hobie. Right here. Whoa, focus. And it's 100% cotton. 50 grams, 75 meters. So, I'm going to do a comparison. So, this is... Peaches and cream, 
This is Hobie. And, and, uh, baby cotton. Baby cotton from Icy Arms. Softest out of all three. This one we all know it's rough. Roughest cotton I have ever touched. Uh, this is this is okay. I mean, I, I don't know. This is softer than this. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm not impressed. Not at all. Not at all. Uh, the other Hobie yarn that I bought was also cakes. They usually went for $15 or $15.90. I think $15. And now on sale, they were $9.50. Like I said, I'm not impressed with this yarn. It's kind of hard. No. Nah. I thought it's going to be more squishier and stuff. No. Not a big fan. I would not buy it again. Just not my cup of tea. I'm sure it's great quality, you know. I love how in the middle it has this little thing so you can, you don't have to dig through the whole thing to find the, the, the thing, the thing. Gosh, my English today. So the other yarn, I sended three skeins. One was, I think, plum color. I can't even remember. The other one was blue and white. So I sent those three to my swap partner, which I already sent the package today because I was already all ready. I was waiting for Mama Lama to send me her uh, application so I could get something more personalized to add on to it and make sure that she's not allergic to anything. So she's going to love it. She doesn't watch my YouTube videos. Um... Sadly, she doesn't make also YouTube videos, so you guys won't see what I gave her. She is going to die. She's a Harry Potter fan, and I got her something. Just in case she comes across, I can't say, but she is going to die. When I saw that, how good of a quality it was, I had to buy it for myself. I like Harry Potter, but I'm not that obsessed, but that thing was amazing. So, today's funny story. Oh, I need more of this coffee. Oh, yes. Mm, excuse me. So, um, yesterday, I was supposed to go on date. Since the weight gain, I do not want to go on dates. I have zero desire in dating or anything like that. But this guy has been asking me out over and over and over and over again. And he's a short guy. I had only one boyfriend who was taller than me. Most men I date are shorter than me. But they are very dominant personalities. Uh, very alpha men. And they are usually very muscular. So that kind of make doesn't make me feel like a giant next to them. When they're, you know, buff and short. This guy is short and he has a very sweetheart personality. He's very sweet. I'm very alpha personality. And I prefer men who are also alpha. Because I do not like my man to be my doormat. And trust me, I have a personality. So a man needs to be able to manhandle me. Um... So, I decided to finally say yes. He's been asking me for months and months. And then he kind of said, like, hey, I'm going to be late from work. Let's do it tomorrow, which is today. And I said, nope. Oh, sorry. Freaking scam calls. Uh, so, I said, um, that's fine. Which I was kind of happy with because I'd rather stay home and crochet. And 
then he kind of said, hey, I'm actually getting off work early. And before that, I was talking to Cheryl. I'm like, oh, please tell me to stay home and just rather crochet than go out. She's like, no, you go. I'm like, oh, fine. And uh, so I did end up going out with him. And when you are a woman who's very tall and you're dating somebody who's short, you have all these tricks how to make yourself shorter when it comes to hugging a man while st standing up. Because most of the men that I have dated are 5'9", 5'11". The shortest I went out with was 5'8". He was actually my ex-fiance. Uh, and so, you know, I have things what I do when it comes to a guy trying to kiss me while standing up. I will quickly look at my surroundings. Um, if there's a wall behind me, I will kind of like lean against the wall, uh, kind of squat down, spread my legs apart a little bit <laughs> to make myself a little bit shorter. If there's a car next to me, I will lean on the car of the hood and pretend to be all sexy when in all reality, I'm trying to feel as less awkward as I can because you're super short and you want to hug me. I don't want that like Hulk hug from myself to you, you know what I mean? So that's why I like men who are like physically strong so they can manhandle me. So... um. So, you know, you have all these tips and tricks or like if you're standing and you have nowhere to lean on to, you spread your legs apart, wider, kind of squat down, not too much so it doesn't look like you're about to sit down. You try to look like everything is normal. But, uh... So since, like I said, I have not dated for a year since I, you know, started, since my loss and weight gain, I have not worked out at all. So yesterday date, right, and I'm doing my trick of squatting down. Uh, I lean back on towards my car and I squatted down, not like completely where he would be like, what the hell are you doing? It's not time to do your squats right now, but just enough to make me much shorter, to look as natural as I can be looking like, I guess all sexy, leaning back towards the car. And, and I have not worked out in a long time, so my thighs were burning. That's why even though like I am big, my thighs are crazy strong. Like I always got compliments how my behind amazing is and how like firm and strong my thighs are, like very fit. It's because of all the damn squatting I do when I have to hug you and kiss you and pretend like everything is all cool while I'm like breaking a sweat because my thighs are burning <laughs> while squatting. So anyway, so this guy I'm squatting and this guy's just talking and talking and talking. And all I can think about is I'm starting to actually break a sweat and I feel my thighs shaking because not working out for so long and now I'm like squatting down oh my god maybe for 10 minutes I thought I was gonna die today my thighs are what do you call it like spasming like my thighs feel on fire and I'm like oh gosh <laughs> yeah so I guess um I need to start dating a lot more so I can get my workouts back in here. So, oh, yeah, I went to dollar store. I stopped at the dollar store. I needed a couple things. So for my healthier life now, I'm going to do a bingo thing. I got that idea from Mama Lama's bingo. Apparently, I am very um, gambling type, I guess you can call it. That bingo thing, like, makes me want to do stuff. Like, it gives me that crazy drive. 
So I thought I'll do a bingo for my health thing, you know, like go for an hour walk. One square is going to be go for one hour walk and another one go to the gym four times a week. Like stuff like this or have oatmeal with a banana for breakfast five days in a row. Like stuff like that and cross it out as a bingo. And once I do that, I will figure out a treat for myself. I need to figure that whole thing out. So I think I'm going to have a blast with that. And I'm actually going to be able to make it because I want to win. Oh, so a dollar store. I got this. I love watching people buy stuff and show me what they bought. So that's why I'm showing you this. If you don't like watching people buying stuff, then don't look. This is going to be for my bingo thing, these stickers. Look how cute these smileys are. Oh, how ador adorable. I'm sorry if my accent is acting up today. I don't know why. I have no idea why I bought this for. Maybe I'm going to do it for a bingo. But I, I don't know. I don't have a planner, so. I really loved it. So I, I And I bought two of them? Really? Why did I buy two of them? Oh, that's for the bingo thing. Because it says chores, appointments, date night, shopping day, field trips, spring break. Well, I'm going to use some of these stickers for my own bingo that I'm making for myself. Um, what else did I get? Oh, so I figured I us might get... It's been so gloomy and rainy these past weeks. See, I need more than 15 minutes. Now I'm at 27. Now I feel more like myself because I don't have to rush talking like it's a race. I hope it's going to upload. Oh my god, if it doesn't upload, can you imagine me having to do this video again in the 15 minutes? Oh. Okay, anyway, so it's so gloomy, so yucky outside. It's been like this forever, weeks and weeks. So I thought... Even though I hate summers because it's too hot. Not a big fan. Unless I'm laying by the pool or with the AC on. Not a fan of just sweating my life away. So this pen I thought is going to bring me a little bit more sunshine and summery feelings. This coffee is so good. It's putting me in such a good mood. It's so sweet though. Ooh. So good. Oh my god, I'm licking myself here on camera. Oh. Okay, I got these. These are for my um my other other side of the family's cousins, uh daughter and son. These make the probably can't see it, but it's like these rulers that when you do this, you kind of see different pictures or they start moving around and stuff. They're both three years old, so this is not a good, you know, school ruler or anything because it's all like little floppy. But oh, look at this! Actually, it's a great ru 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 ruler. You, you you get me. It has the multiplication table. Like I don't know what, what do you call it in English. I forgot. Good cheat sheet. Um, oh, I bought this at the dollar store. It's for, oh, that's what I forgot. Darn it. I forgot to want to, uh, where do you guys buy wires at? I'm guessing, uh, not a Hobby Lobby. What is that man store for men? Uh, the construction store. <sighs> you know what I mean. Probably the construction store. So I forgot to go there to get the wire for the ears. Because these ears, they don't have to stand up fully. They just have to stand up up to here. And then they hang. But I need a wire. So I bought this at dollar store. But we'll see how that will work. And when I am somewhere in the car. I can't see where else I take my crocheting stuff because I don't want to get myself in trouble in case certain people come across this video. So when I'm somewhere where I have nothing to do and my main focus is to stay awake, 
I crochet and when I crochet um, like this thing you have to count your uh, like rows I guess a lot of times like how many rows you do and stitches and stuff and I don't want like a giant notebook with me when I'm outside the house so I bought this little small thing it's gonna be so convenient just like quickly write down rip it off throw it away once I'm done perfect that's it I hope you enjoyed my last night's date story struggles of being a tall woman so oh one thing guys when you guys see a tall woman please don't assume right away that she's transgender like a guy who cut his wee wee off i never in my life i used never used to you know guys questioning like, they will not plainly say, like, hey, are you really a woman? The past few years, I've noticed that tall women get questioned if they're actually women. And that's because the men who chop it off because they want to look like a woman, a lot of them are tall. And the men, who are straight men, they get bad experiences. That's what I talked to with one guy. So please don't assume right away that just because a woman is super tall, she is transgender. Or whatever you call, call it. I'm 100% woman. I would never want to be a man. I would have... Man, I would never want to be a man. I would have no idea what to do for the... I would not know how to operate the man body at all. Like, that would be... Would get in my way. My long hair already gets in my way. All the time. I can't imagine other things dangling around while I'm trying to do everyday stuff. Especially if I'm, like, working out. No. No, no always been a woman so just thought i'll throw it out there tall woman struggles nowadays that's it i think i talked about everything i did now let's see if i can upload this video Ooh -wee. oh yes tonight i will be picking winners definitely closing the entry for the giveaway um I'm trying to work out my laptop. I haven't used my laptop in like four years. It's been like literally shoved under my bed for three and a half years. So I want to see if I can like get the internet working. So when I go to the place tonight where I'm going that I can't say because I don't want to get myself in trouble. Um, I will quickly pick the two winners. If the internet works so I'm trying to figure this internet thing out if I can't make my laptop work the internet work I will draw the winners tomorrow in the morning is that okay with y'all I mean otherwise I don't have a choice but it's closing tonight so I'm super super excited I can't wait so I will see you guys later tonight or tomorrow Mwah. and thank you all for su sub subscribing bye bye